Use a fork and stir together 44 grams or around a fourth cup of the granulated sugar substitute of your choice. I'm using granulated monk fruit sweetener. Add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and stir until everything is fully combined and there are no lumps. Then set it aside. Sift together 118 grams or around one cup of coconut flour. 46 grams or around a fourth cup of the brown sugar substitute of your choice. I'm using brown monk fruit sweetener. You can adjust this more or less according to how sweet you want your bread. Add 13 grams or around one tablespoon of baking powder, three grams or around one teaspoon of xanthan gum. If you don't want to use xanthan gum, you can use one teaspoon of psyllium husk powder. Add a half teaspoon of salt and sift until there are no lumps. Then pour the dry ingredients into a large food processor. Add a half cup of softened butter, three large room temperature eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four ounces or around a fourth cup of room temperature milk of your choice. My favorite keto milk is coconut milk. Process everything until it is combined and a smooth dough forms. You can stop and scrape down the sides of the processor bowl as needed. Scoop the dough out one tablespoon at a time and roll the dough into balls. Then roll each ball into the bowl that has your cinnamon sweetener mixture. Place the coated dough balls into a greased 9 inch bunt pan. Stack the dough balls on top of each other throughout the pan. Then use your hand and very lightly press the top of the stack of the dough balls to lightly seal the dough balls together. Microwave 6 tablespoons of butter until it is fully melted and foamy. Use a fork and stir in 95 grams or around a half cup of the brown sugar substitute of your choice. I'm using a brown monk fruit allulose blend by Bestie. I like the allulose blend in this particular part of the recipe because just the monk fruit sweetener by itself, the erythritol gives a cooling effect for this part of the recipe. So brown monk fruit sweetener combined with the allulose to me tastes better. Stir it until it's smooth and sticky. Pour the syrup over the dough balls that are in the pan and let it drip through the cracks of the dough balls. Bake the monkey bread in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until the monkey bread has darkened a little bit. Once baked, remove the monkey bread from the oven and allow it to cool in the pan for at least 20 minutes so it can firm up really well. After 20 minutes, place a large serving platter over your bunt pan. Then turn the bunt pan upside down and gently shake it to release the monkey bread. Pull off your desired pieces of monkey bread and you can serve this immediately warm or at room temperature. Eat and enjoy.